together. I feel like I'm getting better and better at it. The kids are very excited on why we're doing this right now. That's amazing! Laura, what are you eating? Raisins. Raisins. Have you had your breakfast? Yeah. Yeah? What's Phoebe doing? Um, um, so we've just come out for a very wet walk. I've got my wellies on. It's really not a very nice day compared <laughs> to yesterday. So it is Bank Holiday Monday, Easter Monday. We've left all the kids and run away. Shh. We've left them in with people in charge, don't worry. <laughs> um, but we're heading out. Yeah, and Grandad. And um, we are heading out now for a walk along the river. But it, as you can see, it's pretty miserable compared to yesterday. We had a really lovely Easter weekend. Um, the sun was shining and it was lovely. Look at, are they big snowdrops? What are they? They're gorgeous. I love this area. It's like really magical. It kind of goes down here. You can go here on your boat. If you had a boat, we don't have a boat, and go all the way down. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna find my sister. Good afternoon. We are having a very chilled Monday, aren't we, Flora? Yeah, it's basically me and Flora at the moment. Everybody else has finally gone outside. It's been really rainy here and not very nice weather. And now we've finally got some blue skies, so they've all gone out to play. And Flora and I are hanging out together, aren't we? Yeah, just hanging out. What are you having for your tea? I'm just waiting for your beans to cool down. We've had lots of food over the last few days, so we are eating baked beans on toast. This is your favourite, isn't it? Is this your favourite? Should I put it here? There you go. We're just waiting for the beans we were for them to cool down. I think they're okay now. Go for it. Good? Yeah? Great. I think we're going to call all the others in. There are millions of children here today. So we're going to have them all coming in for something to eat. Anyway, I didn't really welcome the vlog in properly. I think they're heading down now. But I wanted to say a very warm welcome to everybody. I've got a very exciting week ahead. trying to get my steps in early this morning because we've got a really busy day. I've got a friend coming for lunch. I'm very excited to see her. She's coming with all her children. So we are getting out early to get our steps in. It's an absolutely stunning day. There's a little breeze, but it's really nice. All the swans and the ducks have been out on the river all the way along. And here is one here. Good morning, I'm finally showing my face on here. I've actually put some makeup on for the first time in like forever. Um, we are still down south, we're at my sister's house. We are getting ready. We've got some people coming for lunch. Very excited, some really old friend of mine. So I've made some really lovely salads. We've got um, some sweet potato, which I'm gonna put with feta and tahini. 
uh, and some pine nuts and spinach. And then we've got a coleslaw, which I've made, which is really tasty. I love it. I put loads of nuts and fruit in it. And then we've got a pear and a blue cheese salad, which again, I just love. I'm so pleased that the weather is slight, getting so much nicer so that we can actually have beautiful salads. Not been successful on this side, I never am. I've just dried it with the air wrap. And every time I use it, I feel like I'm getting better and better at it. I've watched so many tutorials on how to do it, but I really like it. So we are gonna have lunch now, I think, when she arrives, and then we're gonna head out for a big long walk down by the river. I'm very excited. I've just opened an email and there was an email from Hobbs. And it was just a Hobbs subscriber email, but on the bottom was a picture of me. I'm so excited. I'm working with them this weekend up in York and then Harrogate on Sunday. Uh, it's gonna be a bit of a mission. I'm not getting back late from Paris until Friday night. And then I'm getting up early and getting a train up to Yorkshire to do this. It's a bit of a mission, but I'm really excited that they asked me and I absolutely love Hobbs as a brand. So I'm really excited to be involved with their latest campaign, which is a limited condition. I'm gonna, sh condition, edition. I'm gonna be showing you um, some of their pieces at the weekend. So keep watching so you can see this. When I'm in the shops, I'm gonna go through the new collection and I'm gonna be helping people that come in, uh, choose some of the new pieces. What I love about it is it's really limited in that they only have a few pieces for each piece and then it's gone. And I have the pink dress. I'm so pleased. I love the pink dress. On the pink, on the press day, everybody was like, I love the dress, I love the dress. And I was like, yes, 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 I love the dress too. And then I was like, I have the dress. So I'm gonna be wearing that dress on Saturday in, Har in York, sorry, on Saturday and then Harrogate on Sunday. So please, well, I'm gonna, this will go live next week so you won't see it, but Hopefully you will watch along here if you can't get to Harrogate or York this weekend and you're not coming to see me there. Anyway, for now, I've better quickly just continue to tidy up this place. We've got pizzas for the kids. Um, everything's ready here. And then we've also got another table in here, which is actually my mum's table from next door. And we've just sort of stolen it for the Easter celebrations. So I think actually we might um, just steal it Quite nice in this room this is kind of like the playroom but we have big dinner parties in here because it's really nice because the doors open out onto the patio in the summer anyway i will try and do some videoing of our walk later on i've done a workout with my peloton app this morning which i'm really pleased with i did weights and i did a glute exercise as well so i'm still fasting i can eat at one so i've got half an hour so i'm doing well Good morning. Um, we are heading out for my sister's little boy's birthday. He, it's his birthday today. So we're heading to a safari park, which I haven't been to for years. I've never not been to a safari park for so long. So I'm quite excited. The kids are very excited. Flora, uh, who is nearly two, is very excited because she might see a squirrel. But <laughs> we're hoping to see some bigger animals. It's one way you take your car and then walk along and walk along, drive along, and then the animals can jump on your car. I'm quite worried about that. Anyway, we will see how it goes. Um, so we're heading down there now. Everybody, I think, uh, is nearly ready. It takes us forever to get out the door. So um, I've got a, a really early start tomorrow. I'm going to Paris. So this is a bit of a crazy one why we're doing this right now. I feel exhausted already and it hasn't even started. I hope I've got my coffee. I need to just go and check. Really 
you think he's gonna get away with it? Is it inside? Oh look, there he is. My eggs benedict i find it it's not on a muffin it's a piece of toast and phoebe has got smoked salmon scrambled eggs and what looks like a bottle yeah it looks very nice the hot chocolate is like this basically it's like pure chocolate that they pour in here um, and then i've just had a mocha which was incredibly delicious but very rich we walk down there's the Eiffel Tower just in the distance should we try and get over there yeah. it's very busy isn't it good afternoon we are on our way to the Eiffel Tower to go and check it out we wanted to go on a bus tour but because of all the protests that doesn't look like it's gonna happen so we're walking getting our steps in after our big hot chocolate turn right on Allée de Castiglione oh then gosh, in 160 the yards take ever. the stairs thank you Natalia for recommending that I mean that place was amazing wasn't it Fee the cakes yeah. were like we were like yeah let's get a cake let's get some macaroons and then we couldn't put anything else in we were so full so we may have to go back there we're heading in 60 up yards now. turn right on Allée de Castiglione oh, that's my map we are heading up now towards the Eiffel Tower However, it looks like the protests are in front of us and I thought they were behind us, so we may have to turn around or take a detour. In 90 we decided to have a little sit down, um, but I wondered why no one was sitting here and I think this is for getting sprayed. It is beautiful. After raining earlier on when we arrived, it is now absolutely stunning weather. It's so nice. So we have arrived. This is very, very big. Of course, the architecture is stunning. So we're just going to head up to underneath. Fee is very excited. Oh, it's a breeze. It's really nice. The weather is not like too hot or too cold. It's really good. That's a good idea, do a panoramic, yeah. So we're right underneath it now. Um, I don't remember coming underneath it like this before, I'm sure we did. It was just so long ago. Because it's closed, it's quite nice, it's not too busy. So we've just been all the way around. We are heading over here though, this way towards this carousel uh, because this is where my friend comes to do photo shoots with the carousel we were like where is that carousel because you can see the the eiffel tower in the background when her photos and we're like there it is so we're just gonna head up there and then 
we are going to try and head towards the, I was going to say the town, we are in the town, uh, more towards the Arc de Triomphe and then we will head back in towards our hotel I think. It's about five now, we've done really well, we've walked an hour to get here. The traffic is really bad still with this protest. So we found a place for our knock. here by the Eiffel Tower so it's got a great view. There are so many locks. This is just one of the bridges with loads of locks but look at all of these, wow. So we couldn't really attach it to this because there's like no space and we wanted it to have a view of the Eiffel Tower so we've attached it to this person's here so if we ever come back and it's not here that's because somebody's come to open this one. actually taken it off now because we we're worried that somebody might take it off this so we put it on it by itself here so you can see it sort of are we sure that's the right place Vee? I'm sure it's really difficult to get it on and because we want it by the other touching that would be better I don't know if we can get it on there I think that's you think that's okay yeah it's okay yeah maybe we could sort of poke it up a bit there we go I don't think anyone else will go on the end there. I think we're definitely on the end. No one else can get on. Yeah. Yeah? Okay. I think we've got our spot then, yeah? Yeah. Right here. So if you're visiting, do not forget to come and see our padlock and uh, send us a photo of it, please. We've just come into this shop here and like the homeware is amazing. Look at all this. I think this is maybe like an H&M type thing. I'm not sure. Never been in one before. It's so nice, isn't it, Fee? What are the prices like? Do we know what the prices are like? What's that? 15 euros? I think that's cheaper than H&M. Maybe this is more like a Primark? More, no, more expensive than Primark. It's got really nice homeware. We're just going to go and look at the kids' clothes. Fee wants to have a quick look and see what French things they have. Oh, look at all this. Wow. What's oh, huge. We have just checked out, but I just wanted to show you the like hotel lobby. It's really nice. So you can have breakfast here, but we have not had breakfast. So we're going to head out now and go and find some breakfast and then head to the Louvre. We've both got our berets on. Can you see? Fee's got hers on too. Apparently we're wearing them the correct way. Did she say that on the side? Like that? Yeah. You look great. Come on, let's go. Good morning. We are just about to head into the Louvre. Um, we hope. Hoping the queue's not too bad. We're just about to come around the corner and see. It's quite busy already this morning. Lots of people are out. Oh look for you, there's lots of people. Wow, we're just approaching. Let me turn it around and I'll show you. So, here. Look at the building, it's absolutely beautiful. Oh, there's the restaurant there, Marley's.
get it. Yeah. I've got quite a lot. Oh, well done. It's much smaller than I thought it would be. in a very expensive fashion and jewellery and makeup and department store basically it's absolutely stunning just having a little look around wow let's head that way wow So we've just come to the middle bit, look up. Wow. I think the restaurant must be up on the top floor. Yeah. Think so. You're gonna go for it. saying goodbye to Paris and we're getting back on the train. We've just arrived back in London. Um, it's about half past seven, so not too late. I'm gonna head across London now to get back home. And we will catch up with you tomorrow on our, where I'll tell you all about our Paris trip. It was brilliant, wasn't it, V? Yeah. Yeah, we've had an amazing time. I have had a very quick turnaround and I'm back in Paddington Station. I think I need to reapply my makeup as I get, get further up uh, to Yorkshire. Yeah, I'm traveling up to Yorkshire today. I'm going to Hobbs in York. I've got my new trench on and I'm gonna be styling some pieces from their new limited collection. So I will of course take you with me. I've got my little suitcase. I'm literally here for the weekend. Tomorrow I'm in Harrogate and today York. So it's a bit of a busy one. I tried to get an early night last night. I went to bed about probably about 11 and then I was up again at six. So I really need to wash my hair. And it takes forever and my hair is so thick. So I was rushing doing that and now I'm about to head on the tube, head up to King's Cross. So wish me luck. in York. Um, all the stuff is laid out behind me. This is the limited collection. Can you see that? There we go. Um, they've got everything laid out on beautiful rails and there is a big poster with my name on in the window, which is slightly um, boring. But anyway, very, very nice to be here. Uh, the manager, Kirsty, is so nice. She's like a really lovely lady. So I'm really excited to be working with her again. I did an event here, it must have been about September time. So it's really nice to be back and meet the team. 
So I'm going to be showing people some of the new collection, but I'm going to turn around now and show it to you guys so you can see it as well. I'm hoping by the time this goes live, it's not all sold out, but they've sold loads already this morning. So slightly uh, concerning, there's not going to be much left. And this is a, a one drop, you know, once it goes, it goes. So look out. So here are the rails of clothes. This dress is sold, I think they sold two this morning. Um, here's my dress. I love this. Really beautiful, like floral prints. This is like on my list. It's beautiful. I like the V neck as well, and the way that it cuts here, so under the bust. This dress, I've seen it on, is absolutely fabulous. It's got about four meters of fabric in the skirt, and so it's a really big, long skirt. It's absolutely stunning. And then we've got here some more pretty dresses. This is beautiful. I love the neckline and the print is really lovely because it runs down. Hi, I just thought I'd show you some of the pieces here in the shop so that you can see them. Hopefully they'll still be live on the website by next week when you this goes live. Um, so one piece I wanted to show you was this absolutely stunning dress. So this would be perfect for like a garden summer party. It's got really beautiful sleeves, that are very sheer, look at that. And then the detail on there is beautiful. It's got a really nice cut to it. So it cuts just under the bust there with the bust and detail running down the front and then the V-neck here. So pretty. Oh, and so this is one of my favourite dresses. It's got four metres of fabric on the skirt. It's really, really big. Absolutely stunning on. Really, really nice. When you look online, it is called the Mitford shirt dress. It's really pretty. It's look amazing with some really big heels. I absolutely love it. It's gorgeous. Another dress I've got my eye on is this. How stunning is this for summer? It's like a beautiful silk. It's almost like the same kind of silk as my dress that I've got on. It's got the V-neck detail here and then it cuts just under the bust, the side zip, and then a really beautiful flowing skirt. Really pretty. So this one is called the Red Rose Pink. So these are all limited pieces. Once they go out of stock, that's it. So they will not replace them. So get your hands on them now before they go out of stock. Good evening, we've just come out for a walk along the river. We're just heading down this way up here. The sun is setting, it was just really beautiful. And it's kind of gone now. 
we had a really lovely meal in the star in York and now we're just walking off because we ate too much so we're just heading down for a long walk round oh the rope seeds are all coming out there really peaceful evening nobody's out tonight except the birds Good afternoon, I am in Hobbs in Harrogate today. So I am showcasing some of the new pieces. So there is the new limited edition, which is just up behind me. Let me go around and I can show you. Um, so it's pretty much very similar to the collection that was in York yesterday, but obviously I'm now in Harrogate. So I think there are a couple of pieces that are different and there is another drop coming as well. Uh, but it's all in this centerpiece here. And So we just wanted to show you the front of the shop. So this is the front of Hobbs here. I'll just go out onto the road so you can see. I'll try not to get run over. Um, and so we've got all, some of the new pieces here and then this is the limited collection here. Um, and then this is the poster in the window, which is a bit big actually. But you can see that I am here, obviously in Harrogate from 12 until four. Um, so obviously when this goes live, I will obviously not be here, but this is where I was showcasing this new collection. That dress is gorgeous. It's got like an open back on there and that looks so nice on. A lot of people have been trying on this dress today. It looks really nice. Really, really lovely. Oh, some dogs are having a fight. So I'm just going to head into the shop now and then I'll show you around some of the pieces inside. So up here we've got the two pieces, two rails here. So we've got, this is mainly like the dresses that you will have seen earlier on. And then on this side, we've got more of the kind of casual wear. Um, this cohort is really nice. Maybe dinner. This looks amazing. We're we having dinner together. No children, it's slightly weird. The house is very quiet. <clears throat> this looks so good. Good evening. I just wanted to sign off for the week and say thank you all for watching. As you can see, it was a rather busy week with Paris and then Harrogate and York um, doing my event with Hobbs. Um, I'm now getting ready to head back down south to go and collect all my children from my lovely parents who've been babysitting um, and then come back up to Yorkshire. So wish me luck. Next week's vlog will be a lot of travelling around and we have also got a trip to Scarborough thrown in. So I've packed my bag nearly over there and I'm getting up early to get the train down to King's Cross. I haven't been on so many trains in ages. So I'm getting a bit of an expert finding my seat and getting to the train on time, which is very unusual for me. 
anyway i hope you all have a good week and don't forget to hit subscribe um, and like this video because it really helps me to be seen so other people can watch if they want to anyway have a great week bye bye <laughs>